Magandang! Magandang! Magandang araw sa inyong lahat! Sige, sige, ano ba kung talagtado ka? <laughs> This is Junix TV, your teacher, your guide in learning Adobe Photoshop CS6. Huwag naman po. Maawal mo kayo sa kanila. Mga bata pa po yan eh. Huwag po, huwag po, huwag po. Oo po, oo po. <laughs> Well, so this time, we're going to start already learning Adobe Photoshop CS6. So I would like you to get your laptop and open your Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now, if you don't have yet your Adobe Photoshop, make sure to click here and download the Adobe Photoshop CS6. I have there my installation guide, so make sure to follow everything present in that video. Okay? So without further ado, let's start. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome again to our channel. Again, we are going to start already learning Adobe Photoshop CS6. Again, if you don't have yet your Adobe Photoshop software, make sure you download it here. Just click here and download the file and install it. And you just have to follow everything present in the video. And you may have Adobe Photoshop CS6 as free without pay. Okay. So this time we're going to start already learning Adobe Photoshop CS6. So I would like you to open your Adobe Photoshop CS6. And if you open it, what will happen is it will be like this. Just plain. So ano dyan yung, kung nakikita nyo sa taas, meron siyang file, edit, image, layer, type, select, filter, view, window, and help. Well, dito naman sa left side ng ating desktop, makikita natin yung mga tools. These are the tools already. Okay, ito yung move tool and yung makikita nyo, if you hold it there, yung mouse nyo, makikita nyo dyan yung um, the specific name of the tool. Kagaya nito, it's called as the move tool. Okay, well ito naman is called as the eyedropper tool. Kung hindi pareho yung nakikita natin, make sure to click here, ito yung essentials or whatever it is, or kung nasa new in CS6 kayo, This is what will happen. Okay? Now, I would like you to click Essentials para makikita natin in Essentials yung swatches, yung color, tapos yung adjustments, yung styles, tapos yung layers, channels, and paths. Okay? That's what makikita. Which, these things are very important, especially as a beginner. Actually, here, meron dito yung new in CS6. Pwede din natin yung gamitin. However, I recommend using Essentials. Um, I suggest you have... This is the following, the history. Um, history is not necessary, pwede lang tanggalin. You just have to right click, then um, close tab, or the close, pwede lang yan. Or, and another thing, you need to have this brush. And you need to have the brush presets, and you need to have the characters. Now, if you don't have the characters, I would like you to click here in the window, in the, yes, window. <laughs> click here in the window, then click character. Okay, tas lalabas yan. Okay, make sure na meron kayong character with you in your Adobe Photoshop CS6. For what purpose? Para sa pag-adjust natin ng text later on. Now, kung nakikita nyo, it's still plain. Hindi ka pa makakagawa ng image, hindi ka pa makakakreate ng whatever is it that you want to create. Okay? Ang kailangan natin gawin is this. We need to... We need to have the canvas just like creating a paint. Or your your you want to paint? Parang gusto mo magpaint. Um, the first thing you need to do, you need to have a canvas. You need to have the colors and whatever in order for you to paint. The same thing with Adobe Photoshop. You won't be able to create an image or do an art if wala kang canvas. So to make a canvas, just click Control N. Okay, just click Control N. Now if hindi nyo naman magawa yung control N. You can find you can find it here. New. Okay? Tapos a pop up will appear. So na, ang nakalagay dyan is new. The first um, the first tab says name. Kung ano ang gusto yung pangalan na ilagay sa canvas mo. Sa project mo. So say for example I will 
take this as tutorial one or tutorial one or first tutorial or tutorial one okay na yan tapos yung preset naman that um determines your the sizes of your the size of your the size and the resolution already of your um canvas actually in the preset you may have the default photoshop size you may have us paper international and others but i suggest we just um use a custom custom size or for for beginners siguro i i guess it's best for us to use o pipili lang tayo dito okay pero if you want to follow my instructions it's up to you okay with let's use the 8.5 by 11 in a short band paper of a short band paper we will use it so let's use 8.5 by 11 okay in inches sorry it's it must be in inches okay kung makikita nyo dito okay it says here merong pixels merong inches centimeters millimeters points pikas and columns pero kang pumili dyan however I suggest for now we use only the inches para mas mas madetermine natin gaano kalaki yung image na ginagawa natin okay we say for example you want to create a, po, a, a cover cover photo cover image for your work for your project so ang ga, gagamitin natin yung 8.5 by 11 however if you're already using for web we will be using already if oh if maging pro na kayo in using it we will be using already the pixel again i have discussed already the pixel and the vector in our first video again if you haven't watched it yet make sure to click here for you to be able to watch it and to understand what is a pixel and what's a vector okay that that's a very important thing for us to know in adobe photoshop okay so let's click inches In our resolution naman, we must always use the resolution 300, especially if it's for printing or even for web. For what reason? Because the 300 DPI will give us a much sharper process picture. Parang nagiging sharp ang ating picture, hindi siya magiging blurry. Because I says, as I said, it's a pixel box, individual box with different colors. Kaya ang tendency ng ating image magiging blurry siya. To make it nga hindi siya magiging very that much, we need to use a higher resolution. However, to use a higher resolution will also intend um, a higher MB. Yes, a higher file size of our project. So kung mas, mas mataas yung resolution, mas mataas rin yung ating yung file size ng ating project. Okay, now... We have the RGB color. Again, I have discussed this already. The RGB and the CMYK color. Again, I make sure to click in the description our first video, the introduction of Adobe Photoshop and the graphics design is there. Why do we need to use RGB and why do we need to, when do we need to use CMYK? Tapos dito naman, meron tayong 8 bit, 16 bit and 32 bit. Actually, you may use 8, you may use 16, you may use also 32. However, para sa akin, mas okay na oh yes parang okay na okay na gamitin yung 16 if you use 8 bit 8 bit naman may mga features in Adobe Photoshop that you can't use however naman if you use 32 mas bibigat yung file size natin we say for example here kung nakikita nyo when we use 16 bit yung lumalabas is 21.4 megabytes tapos kung gamitin natin yung 32 mas lalaki yan magiging 42.8 so mas mabigat mas mahirap pag-save, mas mahirap gawin ang Adobe Photoshop kung mas mabigat. Okay? So, let's use only third, 16. Tapos, yung background contents naman, let's use only white. Okay? Actually, you may use back the background color and the transparent. Okay? Let's click white. Tapos, okay. Okay, so this is what will happen. This is already our canvas. Ito na po yung ating canvas. Ito. Now, the first thing we need to do, I would like you to click first. Click click natin itong auto select dito. Kung hindi niya nakita, ito po siya. Yan, auto select. Auto select. I would like you to enable it. If it's disabled, I would like you to enable it. Tapos um next I would like you to be more let's our discussion basically is more of familiarization first of the tools of everything in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Ah! Okay. So kung makikita nyo dito, ito yung file. Makikita nyo dito yung file, edit, 
during the editing the image if you want to edit an image and layer type okay however dito naman kung makikita nyo makikita nyo yung mga tools as I said a while ago the tools meron tayong marquee tool and other and other things okay one thing you need to understand also in Adobe Photoshop is this meron tayo dito ang tinatawag na the foreground and the background color the two things are very important because the foreground color for yung parang nasa una yung background color naman eh, nasa, yung nasa huli okay kung nakikita natin now yung kanina if we try to go back kanina eh, close natin ito try to close this one and that try to create again a new canvas again tutorial one Okay, here, kung makikita nyo, yung background contents will will definitely um, ay, o, oh, parang kung siya kukunin kung ano yung foreground at background colors nyo. We say, for example, if you want to use background color, yung magiging color ng ating canvas is black. Kasi yun yung background color natin dito. Okay, nakuha. Tapos, if you would like to use transparent, makakakita ka ng mga gray and white colors. And it means transparent siya. Okay, we say for example, okay, I will use background color. I will click OK. So, what will happen is it will be color black. Because as I said a while ago. Pero naman, again, let's close this one. Okay, let's use transparent. Ito yung, ito, ito yung mangyayari. Okay, kung nakikita nyo, Okay, kung nakikita nyo, ang mga gray and white colors siya. It means, if we save it in a PNG file, in a, yung image natin is transparent. Okay? Wala siyang background. Okay? Pero if you save it in a JPEG, automatically, its background will be color white. You get it? Okay. Now, to continue... Again, we will discuss more of the tools later on. In our next video, I will be discussing already the selection tools present. For now, we'll try to familiarize everything present in our Adobe Photoshop. Okay, ito naman, it's the quick mask mode. Ito yung pag-change ng color ng ating, or pagmamas ng ating images. Later, you will understand, we'll be discussing it to you. Tapos ito naman yung isa, um, like this. If you click this one, yung mangyayari ito. Yan. Um, I don't know if nakita nyo. <laughs> Pero actually, yung mangyayari lang is parang na screen mode lang siya. If you click another F, okay, full screen, ito yung mangyayari. Parang na full screen siya. Okay? Kung hindi, nyo, kung hindi nyo na mahanap, make sure to click F in your keyboards. Click F. Okay, para bumalik. Sige. So here, dito tayo. Kung makikita nyo dito, ito yung colors, ito yung swatches, colors tapos watches tapos naman dito actually you can you can parang you, uh, you can choose the color that you want dito pero if you want more colors na wala dito you just click here the foreground color tapos pumili ka dito ah, pumili ka dito whatever you want ay na ako mausap dito ha nakakapikon to hindi ko maintindihan eh ha ha sa sapakin ko yan again sa nahanapin dito sa my foreground color okay my foreground color tapos kung nakikita nyo dito na part may adjustments okay meron tayo ditong adjustments adjustments tapos styles okay ano yung adjustments adjustment is first kung nakikita nyo it's brightness tapos itong isa levels okay these adjustments can also be seen here in the image Kung pag-click nyo sa image, may kita mo yung adjustments, merong brightness, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance. Tapos, kung, if you try to remember this, makikita mo itong lahat dito, oh, not all, but most, makikita mo ito dito rin. Okay? Merong shortcut yan, and later I will, along the way of our, of our discussion, I will be discuss, telling it to you. Okay, let's proceed here. Makikita natin yung layers, channels, tapos paths. What's layer? Layer is parang yung picture by picture. Okay? Yung picture by picture natin. We say for example here, if I create an image, okay, wait. Okay, so let's try to close this one for us to be able to use um, 
to use the white we'll be using the white not the transparent let's try to close this one Okay, kung nakikita nyo dito, layer, again, as I said, layer is, layer is from yung picture by picture. Kung ano yung mauuna, kung ano yung mauhuli. Okay? Parang ano dapat yung nasa front, ano dapat yung nasa likod. Parang ganun. O say, for example, here, kung makikita nyo dito, yung, naka, yung nakasulat dito is background. Tapos nakalock siya. So, no matter what you do, you cannot move this. Using the move tool, again, it, as it is said, na, nakalagay dito, could not use the move tool because the layer is locked. Okay? Hindi mo pwede gamitin yung move tool because the layer is locked. Ito pa yung lock. You cannot use this because it's locked. The moment your layer is locked, you cannot use it anymore. Okay? Or you cannot use it. Oh, ang gulo na naman! Ang gulo magsalita eh! Hindi maintindihan ano ba sinabi? <laughs> Tapos, yung gagawin natin is... We will try to create an image for you to see what will happen layer by layer yung sinasabi ko kanina. Okay. Let's use Oops. Let's use this one. Okay, this is what I'm telling a while ago. May kita nyo dito, ito yung layer. Kung nakikita nyo, kung ano yung nasa taas na layer, siya rin yung magiging front ng ating image. Okay? Huwag nyo kakalimutan. Okay? So, if ito naman, yung purpose itong mata is to make the picture or the selected layer hide or hidden or unhidden. Okay? Pwede mo siyang i-hide, pwede mo rin siyang i-reveal, i-show. Okay? Kagaya nito, pwede rin natin itong i-hide. Kung nakikita nyo, kung if i-hide nyo yung background, The tendency, it will become transparent. Okay? Kung walang background color, basically, it becomes transparent. If you save it in PNG. Don't forget. Okay. Let's make it appear. Okay. Sa so, ganun. Tapos, ito naman is create new layer. Pwede ka mag-create ng layer kahit walang image. We say, for example, if you click this one, nag-appear to. Okay? Ito naman, yung group... Yung, yung purpose niya, this one, okay, this, that folder, it's called the group. Okay? Yung purpose niya is parang pag-group lang ng images para it's easy for us to organize things. And, we say for example, I'm creating a vector. Tapos nalagyan ko itong skin or line. Tapos, when I create an image already, it will be This this circle, this oblong is already inside line group. Okay? So kung i-hide ko to, pati yung pati yung oblong kanina, ma-hide rin. Again, if i-unhide ko to, makikita na to. So whatever is it, lahat na nakapasok sa group, sa group folder Whatever you do, or if i-hide mo to or i-unhide, or lagyan mo siya ng iba-ibang effect, mangyayari sa kanya. Okay? Kasi naka-group sila. Oh, ang gulo na naman! Ang gulo magsalita eh! Hindi maintindi! Ano ba sinabi? Okay. Hope you're learning something. Let's try to delete this one. Again, pag-delete natin dito, we may click delete. You may, you may click delete or right click. Tapos cl click delete group. Or pwede mo rin itong i-click and drag papunta sa trash can. Okay. okay next Ito naman Same thing with this Makikita nyo dito Kanina sa may adjustments Merong brightness Merong mm, Pero ito din Same thing with this Makikita nyo Merong solid colors Ganon din Kung anong nakikita nyo dito Makikita nyo rin dito At makikita rin nyo rin Dito Sa adjustments Oh, ang gulo na naman Ang gulo magsalita eh Hindi maintindihan Ano ba sinabi? Okay Ito naman Ang purpose nito is Okay, pag-click ninyo, it is for masking, for refining an image. Later, you will understand because we will try to create an image. Um, We will edit an image and we will try to refine it. Say, for example, ako, if I take a picture of myself, tapos I will change my background into a scenery. Pwede kong gawin yun with the use of this. 
to refine the image okay and later you will be able to understand that let's try to delete this one delete layer mask it's a mask so we will be able we will be discussing more of the tools already in our next video we will start um, immediately with the move tool with the selection tools and with the following videos we will proceed with the other tools hopefully you have learned something of today's tutorial make sure to click the like and subscribe to my channel in order for you to be notified to my latest video if you want to know more about adobe photoshop sir junix tv out